More crazy news regarding Christian Horner and Jos Verstappen's scandal has just surfaced, and things keep worsening for both Horner and Verstappen. Recently, after Horner was cleared of the accusations regarding his controlling behaviour, world champion Max Verstappen's father exclaimed that Horner should be removed from Red Bull. He stated that Horner is playing the victim and that the team is in danger if he stays with them. There is tension here while he, Horner, remains in position, he said. The team is in danger of being torn apart. It can't go on the way it is. It will explode. He is playing the victim when he is the one causing the problems. Verstappen's comments came out after a file containing 79 pieces of evidence against Horner was anonymously sent to significant journalists and key figures, including Formula One Group CEO Stefano Domenicali, FIA President Mohammed Ben Suleim, all of Red Bull's rival team's principals, and Jos Verstappen. Horner, who was present in Bahrain at the time for the first race of the season, quickly dismissed the mail and stated that Red Bull's investigation was enough to clear him of any wrongdoing. I won't comment on anonymous speculation, Horner said in response, but to reiterate, I have always denied the allegations. I respected the integrity of the independent investigation and fully cooperated with it every step of the way. It was a thorough and fair investigation conducted by an independent specialist barrister, and it has concluded dismissing the complaint made. I remain fully focused on the start of the season. A female employee made the original complaints regarding Horner. Though exact details are not known, reports state that he sent explicit texts to the employee and had a coercive approach to her. The folder's content is also unknown, but reports state it contains screenshots of graphic text messages with a female team employee. But people believe that Jos Verstappen's hate for Christian Horner came out due to an old spat concerning Max Verstappen or the ongoing investigation. But now, an insider has reported that the two men were interested in the same women, and this caused the two to have a falling out. They never saw eye to eye in the first place, and due to this scandal, their relationship has broken. It seems that Joss was spending time with her while Christian was texting her, which has caused a lot of anger between the men who never really saw eye to eye in the first place, the insider said. It's causing a real headache for Red Bull to have the president and the father of the team star driver fighting. An insider close to the situation has commented that both people are fighting for the unnamed woman and no solution to the problem is in sight. It's emerged that Joss and this woman complaining about Christian Horner had developed a close friendship, the well-placed insider said, adding, he has been seeing a lot of her and it's caused even more difficulties between Joss and Christian. The source added, there has been animosity between Joss and Christian for a number of years. They are two powerful men from very different backgrounds. Christian is very suave, while Joss is more straight-talking and impulsive. He can be impulsive and explode, which isn't to everyone's liking. They are just very different people. Horner is in deep trouble now, as not only does he have to face the leaked messages and the allegations, but now the father of his lead driver hates him as well. Reportedly, the only reason Horner was not fired after the investigation was that the majority stake half of the company did not want to get rid of Horner. They have protected Horner since Dietrich Mateskitz passed away in 2022, allowing his son, Mark Mateskitz, to head the Austrian half of Red Bull GmbH. Mark wants to eliminate Horner and aims to bring power closer to the Austrian headquarters. He saw the allegation as a perfect excuse to finally get his way but the Thai-owned half refused to fire Horner without a proper investigation. It has also been reported that Jos Verstappen teamed up with Mark Mateskitz and Helmut Marko, and they were the ones who leaked the original allegations in the first place. However, Horner has not shown any signs of slowing down and his team took first and second place at the Bahrain Grand Prix. He also managed to signal unity by inviting his wife to the race. Gary Halliwell spent a reasonable amount of time with Horner at the grid and paddock, and was also later seen talking with Jos Verstappen. Meanwhile, photographs have also surfaced, showing Jos Verstappen and Christian Horner having a heated conversation in a room in Bahrain. The details of the talk are unknown, but it can be expected that the texting scandal has something to do with this. But if the evidence is to be trusted, Jos Verstappen will be under public scrutiny as well. Jos has done some pretty shady stuff in the past and is not liked by many, and this might be the final nail in the coffin for him.
Earlier, at the car launch, despite the rumours, Horner stated that nothing had happened between him and Joss or any of the other team members. He restated the support of the parent company and said that all the rumours were baseless. I was with Joss and Max at Silverstone a couple of days ago. Max is very focused on his job. He's been very supportive and I'm looking forward to the season ahead with him. Meanwhile, on his relationship with Helmut Marko, Red Bull's motorsport advisor, Horner said, there's always going to be speculation, but we're together as one team. That's the way we've always been and that's the way we continue to be. Talking about the parent company of the team, he said, we're one team, we're one group. The support from the shareholders has been phenomenal and without that support we wouldn't be here, so no, that's not correct. Max Verstappen also commented about the rumours and stated that he is still as close with Horner as before. I don't know who likes to write these kinds of things, but to me and Christian, it's like always. From my side, I am very focused on my own performance to get ready to be fit, to be ready to drive the car, to be discussing things with the engineers, what you want to do. Plus, my life is not only F1. When I'm at home, I prefer not to think about F1 too much outside of my scheduled training. There are a lot of things going on in the background for me, also what I want to do in the future. Also, from the virtual racing side of things that I'm working on, so I'm busy enough at home. During the Bahrain Grand Prix, Max stated that he did not want to discuss the ongoing rumours and that his focus was on the race not the team's internal affairs. He said that he trusts both Horner and the investigator to make the right decision. It's a whole team effort that everyone has to stick together, he said. Work towards more success, and that's why it's important to get a result very soon. I'm trusting the process. That's what's happening right now. That's the thing that I mentioned with it. But besides that, when you talk about performance, it's of course very important that everyone sticks together. I do not want to get into the investigation because it's not my case anyway, and I don't want to be involved with that. But as a team, we do trust that process, and we just have to be patient because there's no need to start saying things, start screaming things out loud. You have to be patient. I think I've learned that over the years anyway. According to reports, Jos Verstappen will not be flying to Saudi Arabia this week and will not be present at the race to light any more fires. Max and Horner are also expected to address the public any day now, and Max will reiterate his position as a driver first and foremost. Max does not want to get into the drama. He just wants to continue with his winning streak. Only time will tell how the situation pans out in the long term. Even though Jos does not have an official spot at Red Bull, he is present at almost every race and is a crucial figure in the Formula One world due to his son. A fight this large between the team principal of the best team on the track and a driver's father will hurt the team in any way, and Red Bull needs to find a way to deal with this issue quietly. What do you think of Jos Verstappen and his fight with Horner? Will this issue be solved or will it result in the removal of either Horner or Verstappen from the team? Let us know in the comments below. As always, like this video and subscribe to the channel for more.